Annabelle. Lots of people get married without people giving them away. Noah is absolutely right. It's gonna be just fine. Yeah, what about Quinn or Henry? There you go. No. Uh, I, that's very nice. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go ask him. I'm no, no, wait, wait. No, no, no. I have an idea. What? Bert. Bert? What about Bert? Well, I, I stayed with Bert when I first came to Springfield. And? Well, and I, I always felt real close to the Bowers. You want Bert to give you away? No, I want Ed to give me away. I'm sure he'd be honored. Well, would, would, would you ask Bert to ask Ed? Sure. You know, Ed operated on Tony, and, and he, he gave Tony back to me, so I, I think it's only right that he's the one that gives me to Tony today. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Rick. Uh, well, Annabelle would like you to be the one to give her away. Ed? Oh. Oh, well, I'm honored. See, I knew that that's exactly what you would say. You don't feel abandoned, will you, love? <laughs> no, I guess it's for a worthy cause. <laughs> well, I better go talk to her. I'll see you. Okay, dear. Mike? Hi, how are you? Hi, Thanks, Mike. Oh, hi. Michael. Hi, sweetheart. Mom, hi. Mm. I want you to meet Lillian Rains. Want me to meet Lillian? I know Lillian from the hospital. Hi, dear. Hi, how, are how are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Oh, um, I see Beam. You excuse me for a moment. I just want to talk to her. Oh, I'll, I'll go with you. I'll see you inside. She is such a lovely person. Yeah, she is. You look great. Thanks, son. So Annabelle's brother is not going to give her away after all. I, knew, I, I knew, see. I knew something was going to go wrong. No, everything is fine. Annabelle has asked Ed to give her away. Oh, no, he can't do that. No, that will make an uneven number in the wedding party. Now, B, you know the church frowns on superstition. Oh, Father. Mm -hmm. B, hello. Oh, hi. Um, Father, it's Patrick. This is my friend Lillian Rains, and this is Michael Bauer. I'm the mother of the bridesmaid. <laughs> yeah, I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, uh, Mr. Bauer and Miss Rains, you'll be sitting on the bride's side, but you'll have to seat yourself because the ushers aren't ready yet. Oh, um, you didn't come to the death by any chance, No, did you? that's just what I was going to ask you if you'd seen her. No, I haven't. Oh. Oh, I'm sure she'll be here soon. Oh, of course. Well, the semester is almost over for you, isn't it, Rick? Yeah, Grandma, it's almost over. That's right. What are you going to be doing this summer? Well, I was thinking about taking a little summer school. Oh, great, yeah. dear. Yeah. Hi, Claire. Hello, Maureen. Katie. Hi, Claire. Hi, Louis. Hello. Hello. Hi, Bert. Hi, dear. Well, Claire, I didn't know that you were friends with Annabelle and Tony. Oh, oh, are you kidding? Claire deserves a place of honor. If it hadn't been for her steady hand, she's the one who helped Dr. Bauer uh, drill the burr holes during Tony's oh, surgery. Yeah. Oh, darn now. One more word about burr holes and you're on your own. I was just going mm. to say that if it hadn't been for her steady hand, there might not have been any wedding. You've been warned. See that? <laughs> you know, although all the guests are starting to arrive and Sam isn't here yet. I'm getting really worried. Mother, I will go ask Annabelle if she's heard anything from Beth yet. Maybe I should call the boarding house. Is there a phone that I can use somewhere, Father? It's certainly. There's one in the church office. Oh, good. I'll use it. I don't want any mix-ups like there were at your wedding, Nola. Bride arriving on a fire truck to her own wedding. Oh, please spare us that. You know, uh, you play your cards right, and you could be walking down an aisle like this someday soon. Yes. I just hope it's somebody I can uh, look up to. <laughs> oh, Maureen, ha have you seen Jim? He's probably back in the sacristy with Tony. Oh, okay. I'm going to go see how they're doing. Excuse me. I'm just so glad to see Dr. Ramsey here. Yeah, so am I. I mean, yeah. You know, she's changed a lot this past year. Mm, she certainly has. And from what I hear, she's told practically everybody in the hospital about how wonderful you were the other night, dear. She did? Yes, and from what I also understand, Mindy may owe her life to you and Claire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Claire, that's, that's nothing oh, anybody else would have done. He's a mighty modest boy, <laughs> just like his father. Yes, he is. And I'm sure he's going to be every bit as good a doctor as his father is, too. Mm -hmm. 